Hey, Aria, pack your bags ready, because we're going to Australia. No idea what I'm talking about? Well, it's the Ray event that's dropping right as this video releases. So let's tell you all that you need to know. I am looking forward to pulling my own Ray. She is a very strong sniper, very beautiful as well. Although not as strong as Wizardel, but then again, who is even stronger than Wizardel that's to come pretty damn soon. So let me know if you're gonna be pulling for Ray. I'm additionally excited for the fact that Warmy and Ray will get their own EN voices. The other EN voices that you see over there, they've already been added during the Dagonbreaker patch. So I think it might be an oversight from Yostar because they probably preloaded this wanting to release it now instead of previously but you can react to all of them for yourself as well. This is a mini event so that means you don't have to farm for any materials all you have to do is play the stages once you're gonna see some old enemies appear once you're done just farm any of the other regular stages and you'll still get the event currency. Like all events there's gonna be skins for you to get so for this one the event currency will get you a earth spirit skin so technically a free skin. Then next up there is also a skin for mint which costs 18 OP and finally a witch team skin for Reed Outer. This is an L2D skin, so it's 21 OP. Although I do understand there's a bit of a contest because over in the CN server, Reed Outer just got a second skin and that is a Coracle skin, which is Summer Team. And a lot of people are debating between which is the better skin because one of it looks like it has better animations, the other one looks like it has a much more lore accurate skin. But I would say, why not just buy both? Unless you're free to play and you are very stingy on your OP, then you're gonna have to choose which one you wanna get. Cruise Outer skin will rerun during this point in time and of course, you're gonna get a furniture set for you to buy. This is Multicap Ut or Ute, I have no idea how to pronounce that but take note of that and since Ray is a 6 star operator featured for this one there is a sniper chip pack for you to buy in case you need to top up on your resources there are other important things to note if you see on the bottom of this screen over here invitation to wine will be added to side story so if any of you want to replay that event you can do so and SSS is going to update with brand new stages so for any of you concerned about obtaining a medal for some reason then please clear out your current SSS, try to achieve it well before the next SSS appears. What's the most boring operator for me to use? I mean, it's obviously gonna be the 2 stars and the 3 stars because they don't have much flashy skills for you to look at. But if you mean something more substantial like the 6 stars and 5 stars, if it's the 6 star, I'm probably gonna have to say Shining because Shining's abilities are just to increase defense. They don't look very interesting. They might help you sometimes, but it's definitely the most boring to use. And even so, you use Nightingale way more than you use Shining nowadays. And then, if you say the 5 stars, I like Zima a lot. But I'm gonna say that of all the 5 stars, I think Zima skills are the most boring to look at. So that's my answer. Most like comment in this video will be the question I have to answer next week. Here's a bit of CN news for you guys. Don't worry, it's not spoiler territory. It's good for you to know. So over in the CN side, they just released one of the newest packs we've ever seen. So this pack cost about 25 USD or 26 USD depending on what it is when it comes to the server. But this pack contains 4 items, no pools at all. The 4 items are 2 instant E2 tickets for 4 stars, 1 instant E2 ticket for 5 star and 1 instant E2 ticket for 6 star. Which is pretty interesting, it will save your time in terms of farming the resources in order to build someone. but. The good thing I see for this is that if there's a new player that's coming into the game, this is a pretty good pack for you to buy if you want to just chase for good builds and then be able to use some powerful units from the front. Like imagine if you first come in your beginner banner, you get a mountain and then you buy this, you get an instant E2 mountain, you'll be winning a lot of the frontal part of the game. The only issue I see with this pack is that it's only one time purchasable and it's for a limited duration of time. So it's only 21 days. I do think this should be a permanent offer that they do that people can buy at any point in time. Subsequently, if they were to sell this maybe every 6 months, that's fine but at least there's a base package to start off with. Pretty interesting pack, let me know if you think you're gonna buy it. Now I understand a lot of you are free to play, so let's also give you some free to play news. This is still in the CN server but it will happen for us eventually when it drops in our server. So the brand new side story event, the Castellian Rescue, comes with a login event and the rewards are the biggest we've ever seen. So two major rewards to mention. Firstly, there is a training invitation letter that lets you upgrade a chosen 4 star from E0 level 1 all the way to E2 level 1. 
huge reward. It's very nice. It makes you want to play with a certain 4 star at this rate now that you are able to do so. And then a second reward lets you use this ticket to upgrade a chosen skill of your 5 star that's already E2 to go from an M0 skill to a full on mastery tree. Skip out all that training room time, no need to hassle with the materials, straight away you can build a 5 star M3. Both of these rewards are so huge and I cannot believe that they come in from a lock-in event. Free to play rewards for you guys. This will probably drop for us in about 6 to 7 months time, so look forward to it when it happens. Final reminders for you guys, so the current banners ongoing are the Vista Celebration banner, the one where you can get a new unit that you do not own. New players don't pull, mid game kind of don't pull, late game if you've only got like 1 or 2, 3 units that you don't own and you think the good for your account, could be a good banner for you to get. There is also the Kernel Celebration, this one only limits it to the year 1 operators. So again, only good if let's say you only have very few units left to collect. And the standard banner currently ongoing features Carnelian as well as Todifons in the store for you to buy. A final bit of a reminder as well, SSS is going to be switching out to new stages as mentioned just now. So if you're concerned about grabbing your medal and you haven't done so yet, then make sure that you do so before the week ends. Fast news for this week, I hope you guys have enjoyed and I'll see you guys next week. Bye bye.